<clears throat> fuck, man. Today's I'm I feel lazy, man. I I don't want to do shit, which is gonna be bad on the boat when it's like this. There's gonna be a lot of days like this where it's gloomy, and it makes me sleepy. It makes me tired, man. I need to get up. I just fucking lay down for a little bit, like twenty minutes, half hour. Close my eyes. My fucking back. I'm st stiff as fuck from all the yoga, fall, like laying backwards, you know, and stretching. I'm fucking, my back's killing me, all that shit, dude. And then I know why I wasn't feeling good last night either is because I took some naproxen. I forgot to take my stomach medication before the naproxen. And when I eat the naproxen, it fucks me up. And this guy is messaging me about this fuel tank, which... What year does this fit? I have an 01 Yukon 60. Oh, oh, two, uh, 2500 HD 60. Most likely, same pump. He said, my gas gauge stopped working. I think pump's going bad. Most likely, same pump. Flow is in pump. He said, so yeah, that will fix it. It's an OEM pump too. O two twenty five. 25 he said my gas gauge stopped working it says what year does this fit he said i have an 01 yukon 60 he said my gas gauge stopped working um i told him mine's a 02 2500 hd 60 most likely uh same pump uh you know the float the float is in the pump so yeah that will fix it only on pump too so it's the same pump It's the same pump, I promise. <laughs> and a little smiley face. I don't know, where the fuck is this? I always do this. I don't feel like pulling when I'm on the computer. I don't, it's not the same. Where's the damn print? There it is. Was, I'm having a brain fart. So you just, you know, parentheses and the little thing, you'll put a smiley face. There you go. Hopefully, I got a hundred bucks coming. That'd be nice. We got to get to work today, man. Let me go put my fucking. What's up, old man? You all right? Probably can't hear me. He's all right. He's up. He's alive. I see him getting mail. So I just heard him, Freddy, calling his woman cat Freddy, which is my cat's grandmother. Which is, she's not taking care of herself, man. She's getting bad. She's drooling and shit. She's fucking, she's getting old. She's got some shit going on with her. And she won't let me close to her at all, so. Well, hopefully this guy shows up. I already sent him my fucking address and all that shit, so. I told him, come on over, come get it. Take the whole gas tank. Alright. Listen, man, if this guy is smart, he'll show up. It costs $200 just for a fucking an aftermarket fuel pump to go in his thing. He comes and gets this. He'll have an OEM fuel pump. My uncle, listen, man, my uncle made 100 grand with this truck. He didn't use cheap shit. You hear me? This is why I bought the truck, okay? This is why I'm spending all the time on this motor. I wouldn't waste all my time doing all this. On a motor I don't know nothing about, you hear me? And I cut this gas tank the right way. He has, listen man, all these lines are a bitch to replace. They always crack and shit. He can literally just put it right in. And he put the, this should go right in his truck. It's the same exact thing. If not, he can just pull the pump out anyways, put the pump in, he's good to go. 
He said his gas gauge isn't reading. There's a float that's on here that reads. These little pins right here inside. This measures not only the gas sending unit, it's called a sending unit. Well, it actually, it's a return unit too. It doesn't just send, it also returns. It has a return line. That way it can keep pressure. It keeps high pressure that way. The older cars didn't have a resend line like that. It didn't have a return line, I mean. The best way to do it the best way to see if your fuel your fuel pump's cut out is what you do. It's backyard style. You'll find the fuel rail, right? The fuel lines coming off the back of the motor, right? Going into the motor, which on this truck, it's these right here, right? You pull the fuel line off the top of the motor, okay? You take a pop bottle. Put the pop, put the line in the pop bottle, right? Have someone go on the car, turn the ignition on, make sure there's a battery plugged in. This don't have battery, I could plug in the battery, right? There's a pop bottle in there. They turn on that key, that pop bottle will start filling with, with fluid, with gasoline. They'll tell you if your fuel pump's bad or not. If you can't hear it, they'll tell you for sure, for sure. Like, that's what I would do. Because in the, in the field, you ain't got all those tools and all that other shit anyways. The right way to do it, you know, would be to just plug it in. I have a scanner, though. The scanner will tell you if the fuel pump's bad. It'll tell you there's no pressure. I have one. I, I can't even show everyone I have one. Everybody think I'm on. Everybody, oh, I'm overfalling. People, I have all that shit. I'm always prepared, man. You got to be prepared if you want to make money. You hear me? That's the number one key is being prepared. It's in... Listen, man, I keep it in my laptop bag because that laptop, that another laptop that I have, I'm going to be tuning cars for people. So I'm making videos. Boom. You have this. Plug this into any OBD2 sensor. Most cars from like 90 and up have OBD2. You just plug this in right here. Like this. You turn the key on. It'll read it. There's no power, so it's not going to do anything. This one doesn't have a battery, so I can't power up the device itself. Some of them do. It depends on the car, like the macro ones and stuff. They can power up the brain itself. This one, you got to have the key on and shit. This is a cheapie, but it's actually a good brand for the money uh, on Amazon. It's probably the best bang for your buck. It does everything you need to do. You know, it'll clear the engine codes. It'll tell you what's wrong with the engine. Um, instead of going to the place, you know, you'll be able to tell you, it'll tell you, you know, what uh, coil packs are bad. It'll tell you, you know, if, uh, if a cylinder's running lean. Um, it tells you all that type of stuff. Uh, you know, you can't really adjust anything with this one. This is just a scanner. It's just a reader. But it gives you uh, an idea of what's going on. Like if this fuel pump was going bad or whatever, and it didn't have enough fuel pressure, this would tell me, you know. What I like to do is you clear them, you clear it, right? And then you start the car and you drive it around. And then what it will do is it basically, the computer self-tests again. And then it will, if it runs the same codes again, then I know most likely that it's dead. You know what I'm saying? If I clear it, right? And I drive it around and the computer dumps it again and tells me that, uh, you know, there's errors, the same exact thing. It needs to be replaced. It's not, it's, there's no questions. There's, there's no, there's nothing to talk about. It, the computer clearly says that it's bad. It needs to be replaced. If you want your engine to run normally or function normal, replace it. Even if it's expensive. If you want to, you know. So a lot of people don't know too. You have insurance company, right? You're paying insurance, right? You don't you have a car, right? You line them, it don't have a catalytic converter on it, right? It has all these different things on it, right? That you lie, right? And say, oh, it's not a race car, okay? And you have a racing motor in it and you fucking racing around in it and you end up getting an accident or something. They, they don't have to cover you. If they can prove that they were insuring just a regular car, they were under the impression that they were insuring just a regular car, 
and they didn't know that you were running around, racing around in a race car. It was a sleeper and you get in an accident, fuck something up. They can go after you. People don't think about that. They're fucking stupid. I was just, Bill, me and Bill were just talking about that last night. People are idiots, man. You really, people, I, it, it, it cracks me up how people are. But I want to get this out tonight. I'm hoping, I haven't even checked the weather, nothing. I've been sleeping all fucking mornings. Yeah, see how clear that looks, clean that looks? I'm, ex I'm happy. What I'm worried about is underneath over there. There's a hole somewhere over here. I'm going to be hitting it today. See how bad it is. From experience, man, if there's a raw spot, right, and it's an inch wide, say it's right here, go like this far back. I'm serious. Go like three, four, five inches. I'm serious. Usually it's not It's. It's not what you can see that you got to worry about. It's what you can't see. It's so cute when she does that. And it's always these brown fucking slippers. She's amazing. I love her. Get it. I don't know what it is about these slippers, man. She'd just be tripping. It's the only ones where, like, her she her hair stands up like that, like a... Oh, my God. She is the most adorable cat ever. It's because I haven't broken her spirit. I got her kitty spirit to still stay. Because I saved her. I saved her. I know how to train kitties. It's a gift of mine. Come here. Hey. Come here. Say fuck you. Come on. Come on. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. What? Get some milk. I poured it for you. There's some sugar in there. I left some... I ate some cereal, I left a little bit of the, you know, all the sugar in there for her and stuff. The sweet, the sweet stuff. That's what she likes in the morning. She likes milk in the morning, just like me. She's just like me, it's funny. Is that good? Is that good, baby? Yeah. Her eyes are finally clearing up. I didn't give her no medication today. Yesterday she needed it. It was bad. Her nose was all nasty, all that stuff. She was definitely uh, feeling rough. I'm so happy her nose came in, her teeth, all that. I don't know, she got into something today. I had to take a pair of scissors to her fur. I see why her grandmother gets all natted up. She had some, I don't know what she got into, but it was all oily. It would not come out and fucking, it, it was like gum or something. I had to take a pair of scissors, so she's got a little, I had to cut it right there. It was bad. I'm going to give her a cut soon anyways. She's supposed to be long-haired. I'm going to leave her long-haired, but it's going to get bad. And she plays outside, so I don't want her, you know what I mean? I don't need her all nasty and shit when she comes inside. So I uh, just keep it down so she can play outside and not be all disgusting like all the other kitties. She's so good looking. I'm so happy her nose is coming in her teeth. It's crazy, not even a month ago, a month and a half ago, you know, her nose was all crusted over, pushed in. She didn't even have a nose. She didn't even have a nose. She was dead, almost dead. All right, let's go see what this guy messaged. If he messaged back.
He's probably just double checking, making that toe mail, fix it. Hopefully, he shows up with a hundred bucks. It'd be nice. I go grocery shopping. I'm gonna go buy a twenty from my from my buddy. Go get some groceries. I gotta get cat food. I put some money in my account, and then uh, we're gonna work today. I got a piss too already. I want breakfast. We're gonna get breakfast. I think I'm gonna. Uh, we're gonna go to the Coney Island or something and eat a heavy meal today. That's why I've been relaxing. I I've been waiting on money and. God came through last and I told him I needed some money today. I said, Bob, I need some money today. I gotta get groceries and stuff, man. I gotta I gotta rock out, you know, I gotta get all this stuff packed up. He knows. God always provides, man. But you gotta you gotta be ready for his you gotta be ready for him. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be you gotta learn how to work with his grace. It's called grace for a reason. So I'm talking about, I try to tell people the best thing to do is buy trucks. That's well, I'm gonna be trying to flip that blazer though. That blazer, you gotta know what cars to put money into, and you gotta know what cars not to put money into. You gotta take apart. Believe it or not, that big boy truck, the 2500 HD, my uncle, if you can make money with it, it would have been worth to fix it, right? But low key, I wanted the motor for my truck anyway, so. The situation he was in, I took advantage of it, right? I got me a fucking iron block truck motor with fucking aluminum heads. It's a 6.0. It's the most desirable motor. It's the most desirable motor to build for force induction. Okay, it's the most desirable Chevy motor to build for force induction. This is what they, all the YouTubers. This is what they're shopping for. This is what Cletus McFarland, you know. Is fucking built his 427 you know charger you know fucking twin turbo ski fucking you know corvette you know fucking you know leroy the savage you know what i mean the fucking go-kart the corvette cart and that's the motor that was pushing it you know that was setting world records so i have one <laughs> and i only paid listen man i only paid 800 bucks for that whole truck because of the situation and I knew that the truck was taken care of. My uncle needed it gone. My uncle was like, okay, your family, I'll give you the deal. This truck needs to be gone. And then he realized how much money I was making off of it. And he didn't like it. That's why I made him shake on it. Because I knew the man and how he was. He's an asshole. So I'm, this is a man. I'm six grand off this truck, you hear me? Look. And look what I still got. I got the best part, the motor. Listen, man, this motor really only has 100,000 miles on it. This motor came with a 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. If a company is given a, a motor a 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, right, that means it's just broken in at 100,000 miles. You hear me? This motor runs forever. That's why they're looking, that's why they're buying these motors and put swapping them into everything because at 100,000 miles, they're just broken in. I can slap two turbos on it. It's got Ford's Pistons rods. It's got fucking aluminum heads, which are light, so the they can move fast, right? It's got the strength for the bottom. If I put dump a little money into it, change the intake system, do a little bit of work to it, you know, a little bit of ignition work, you know, a little bit of ignition work, get more, a little bit more fuel dumping in there, a little bit more air. I'm, um, you know, these things are pushing. You know, just listen, just a turbo system, just the stock block, just the stock block, right? Some people are getting a thousand horsepower out of these motors, out of the stock block, just the way this sits. 
because they know what works together. They know they've been doing it a long time, you know, and they know what parts fit on it well and work well together, you know. They 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 know. <laughs> they know what drive chain it goes in. That it fits in right, you know. Some of these, man, I, I mentioned in a video over here in Taylor, Michigan, man, <laughs> Morrison Motors are getting those motors to push 3,000 horsepower, man. And then they're taking those motors. They're in Chicago. I'll, I wish I can't. I would love to see one. If I see one, I'm going to do a video. They're flipping these motors this way, right? They're taking these motors. They're flipping them this way and using them as outboards. They're turning them, turning... V8 Corvette truck motors, GM Chevy truck motors into outboards. It's insane. It just blows my mind. So I'm hoping this guy comes. We got to check the weather before we do anything. That's what we're about to do. I got to chug my coffee. Uh, someone else just messaging. Looks like some bullshit. It's like Samsung, actually. I got a subscription with them there. I'm waiting for them to roll out. They got these screens that I'm really interested in. Um, they're expensive, though. I I don't want to know. When Listen, man, when you go on the website and it tells you, I have access to certain things because of my Facebook, being a business Facebook, you know, and they have so many followers. They give you access to, like, certain things that normal people don't have no access to, like ads and shit, you know? And uh, some of these screens and stuff that I've seen, it says to ask for a quote, you know? When, when someone's telling you to get a quote, it's probably out of my price range, you hear me? I, I don't want to buy that right now. <laughs> I don't really need it right this second for what I'm doing, so... There was no point to even look at it, but they had these really, these uh, new screens that they're putting installing on floors and companies and stuff. They want to know, like, what you're using it for, all this stuff before they come out there. And these screens are fucking dope. They're like I said, they're putting them ceiling. They're putting making a whole room ceilings, floors, walls, and you're, you're walking into like a three D immersive whole experience. You can be like in Japan in a sense. You get what I'm saying? They can make. You can walk into another world. They can make whatever world you want, in a sense. And that's what it's kind of is. And they're talking about, like, making, like, you know, traveling to different universes. You know what I mean? Like, making your own universe. You'll be able to go in there and make sell real estate. You'll be able to have, like, your own virtual real estate, all that stuff. You know what I mean? Which would make sense. Which actually would help a lot of people not only make money. Uh, it would give people something to... Um, earn money with instead of just crops and stuff because the country has to make money which we're going to be making topics about country has to make money whether it's growing something physically or selling something physically a service so that's another reason why a lot of these countries are poor because nobody they don't have an infrastructure or you know internet a backbone or anything like that to do any type of virtual you know, type of entertainment or media, you know what I mean? They're clearly relying on crops, on the land, on the earth, and they're raping it, they're pillaging it, you know what I'm saying? They're, the whole country is relying on it, you know what I mean? And therefore, you know, things are becoming extinct and stuff. So that's why it's it's so important that these these countries have infrastructure. A lot of people think that it's bad, it's not. If you can build a full infrastructure, these self-reliant you know cities that have have you know um greenhouse you know uh uh farms and all this stuff you know what i mean like the stuff we would see basically in the future and that we see on like you know you know star wars and stuff like that if we come there's there's a few guys i have interested there, there there's one guy in italy he's uh he's italian i follow his facebook he he he's a professor he's really uh really really he he impresses me his his knowledge of of the city, he has like a whole city on the table, you know, like Beetlejuice, how they had that city on the table and stuff. He has a whole city built and he explains, you know, like all the systems that he envisions in his head. And I've been watching them and what's funny, a lot of the systems he has, I've been developing. I thought it was funny. I was like, I, that's, I had the same thoughts. How is that not God? You know what I'm saying? God is working through all of us, you know what I mean? Think about it.
my whole life. I've dreamed of sailing, documenting my life, and documenting the fish and the ocean and the stars and stuff. And here is global warming happening, and I fall in love with Jesus, and here I am following my dream. So, <clears throat> and global warming gave me a reason, a purpose to do it. Because it is really happening. It's bad. It's sad. It is. It's really, it's really happening. <clears throat> I'm really trying to ride out this guy, man. See if this guy shows up. I don't have much groceries and food. So I don't want to move too much energy. Nor do I want to start using a lot of brain power. Um, because, it, one, I don't have the... I don't have the fuel to, you know, keep me going, <laughs> in a sense. The guy has my number and address. I'm hoping he just shows up. If you don't answer soon, I'm going to tell him, like, look, man, just bring me fucking 75 bucks. Come and get it. I don't want to say nothing now, because I want the 100 bucks, you know? So, we'll see if he shows up. People, you know... I talked my game, and this is real. And he really it will fit his truck. He's got the same exact trucks, man. All those GM trucks are all the same. Which we need to get into this. We gotta fill this out. Itch. I've been meaning I gotta download Thunderbird on here, my email client. Um, Thunderbird is the only email client I really, really like. Other than I haven't tried. I got Outlook on here. I'm about to try Outlook, but I still got to get this machine running. Um, the Windows 11 machine is good to go. You know, it's got Windows 11 on it. Um, we got to get this Linux machine running. I got to download that. We'll do this real quick. So, Thunderbird is the only uh, email application I found that lets you download thousands of emails in bulk. I'm serious. So... Um, actually, we can just do that. Leave that open. Actually, we'll close this. We'll open up another desktop. Open up a terminal. We'll open it up full wide. Um, we got to download Thunderbird. So we're going to go sudo sue um, so we can have administrative rights. I don't feel like typing in the password constantly. All right. So we just clear. I don't know. It's just a habit. You don't have to. Um, we're going to go app. Instead of typing sudo app, yeah, we're just going to type in app get. Uh, we're going to type in install because we want to install Thunderbird. And we know the name of it, so it should be just Thunderbird. I don't know if it's case sensitive. It's been a while. Um, it should be all lowercase. We'll see. Hit enter. It says that it is. Uh, it says the following additional packages will be installed. Uh, library, uh, TAN. It says all this stuff right here. I'm not going through all that. Uh, these are all the libraries. It says 50.5 megabytes of archives will be fetched after this operation. 206 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. We're going to hit Y for yes. And we're going to go ahead and install it. And it's fetching it. Oh, man, dude. This weather's fucking me up, man. It makes me lazy. It makes me groggy. It makes me, I haven't had any lemons, no water. I'm out of sugar. That's also why I'm groggy. I haven't had no sugar today. I need all that stuff. I'm not diabetic. My body needs all that stuff. I'm so used to it. That's why I'm sluggish today. It's fine. It's good to take a break from all that shit. That's what I do. Also, I don't have no money right there, so I'm kind of forced to take a break from sugar. I have coffee and the little bit of milk that I had. It's installing. All right. It installed. We're going to hit clear. Um, we're going to type in cd forward slash. Um, we're going to type in cd bin since we're in the, fl uh, in the slash folder. Then we'll be in the bid folder, and then we can type in, uh, we should be able to type in Thunderbird if it's in this folder. I forget what. No. We got to run it. Thunderbird run is rules and regular user session not supported. All right, we're good. It's got Thunderbird. So we should be able to go uh, here, internet, all applications. Usual applications, internet, Thunderbird. Which I ran it as root. All right. 
I'm gonna put your full name in there, right? Such as retrospect. All right, I'm gonna put the email. J A Y S K I I eight nine at Gmail. And I'm gonna put in my password, which I'm gonna turn around for a second. Long as password. Hopefully it's right. I'm gonna view it. All right. All right. It went through configuration. Found a Mozilla ISP Internet Service Provider database. That means it found this says keep your folders and emails synced on your server. Incoming IMAP SSL slash TLS. It's talking about the email service. That's the type of email service. And it's talking about secure. That's the security level. It says secure security level TS. That's like the socket stuff. Those we'll, we'll get it eventually into that stuff. Um, there's other type of servers that use POP3. Um, Google uses IMAP. IMAP, which is more secure. Um, POP3 isn't their older. That's older stuff. Um, but it's also not necessarily it people still use them people still use them they're still good to use you they're just as secure in their own little way in a sense if you if you read into it you can read into it but definitely most people most are almost every almost every email these days are going to use imap okay we hit done it's going to pull up the menu we hit next all right i'm going to put in my password Cause it's actually gonna it's gonna actually add it to the account. Oh no, I gotta retype that. I messed up. It's weird typing with one hand. Uh, hopefully it goes in. 